In this video, we're going to look at how to make changes to the Predator Editor templates. So in here, I can see I already have a program loaded, and I'm going to turn off the back plot. Now in here, one of the functions in Predator, in the editor, is that we can come down to our tool change code, like MO6, right click, and then go to Select Tool. You'll notice, though, right now it's giving me an error it's saying that there's no tool changes at the current location and suggests that you review the definition in the CNC template this is what we're going to look at changing now in here we could see MO6 I'm going to delete the zero right click and get a select tool you'll notice now that it works and it selects that tool until then comes to the next tool now this is because it's using a reverse post processor to read through the code so if the codes aren't correct to what the template provides these functions may not work now this is pretty simple to correct so what we're going to do is go to edit and then template here we can see that we're using the 4-axis vertical mill template or 4-ax v-mill so that will be the template that we're going to edit we'll hit next now, this first page just gives some information about what's being used inside of the program. By default, all these should be turned on. You can also set up for individual templates DNC properties. So you can make your own templates as well and save the DNC properties. So if you have multiple machines, you can send out to them without having to reset these con this configuration every time. We'll push next. We can also see just the leader and trailers for our programs as well as any character send delay or line delay for doing a drip feed. We'll push next. Special characters that may be used in the program, these are seldom used. Push next and push it one more time. And here we can see our carriage return line feeds. Let's go back. So now we're going to push next and here we could see just some of our codes like our program end is a percent sign program star is also a percent sign what characters indicate that the predator header is being used now in here are registers this is what we really want to look at for something like this like the mo6 code that's an m code so it's a miscellaneous code this is just the language interpreter here so this actually interprets so miscellaneous code is an M and it could be up to four digits but this is really an M0 then the change code so we're gonna make our register M0 and you'll notice it gives a preview of the code like M0 is now M00 as well as M01 if we get, use a preview value of 1 would now be M01 or in the case of our tool change our M6 value would be M06. So you get some different options in here for how you can set whether or not zeros work if it has a plus or a negative sign. In this case we just want plain old MO6. So we'll say no negative sign on M codes. How many decimals to check for, how many digits to check for, and how many digits after the decimal place. In this case we won't be using a decimal place so this is set to zero. And we're allowing up to four digits for the M codes. You can see here if we turn on the leading zeros, you can see that value change. We'll choose next. This is also a list of our G codes that can be changed in here. And we'll finish. Now since we've just edited the template, we can now right click on the M06 and select tool and it'll select by that tool. So many of the codes in here as well as a lot of the backplot functionality works based off of that template file. So again just to recap on how you access that is you come up here to edit then template you choose the template that you want to edit or you can create a new one by going to edit copy template choosing a template that already exists and then giving it a new name and then you can make any changes needed to that template 